Spa. It's quite an impressive race track. Philip is ready, we can go. He lost the rear and he was crashing in me. He was on the inside, lost the rear. No. Out of three hours of testing, we actually used 25 minutes or something like that. For sure the preparation is not perfect, but uh, I think everybody is confident and everybody likes the track. Good morning from the Ardennes Forest in Belgium at Spa Francorchamps. This circuit with so much history, so much incident through the years. This is the grid and packed it is too. Have fun, yeah? Just enjoy, man. You better do it. We're off and running with the formation lap for the four hours of Spa Francorchamps. LMP2s, LMP3s and GTEs all about to do battle here in the Ardennes Forest. So we get underway for the fifth time this year. It's the four hours of Spa Francorchamps. The red lights go out now. And the chaos has already started, I'm afraid to say. La Source is classic for that. And there's a traffic jam now because of a spun double yellow flags at turn one. Yellow flags at D1, yellow flags at D1. Good. Four LMP2s all delayed in that. Both the Nielsen cars tied up in that one too, Johnny. Michael, very good, very good. Find your rhythm, find your rhythm. The start could have gone easily wrong, but he managed to find his way. The other teams all had the silver or gold drivers in, so two cars overtook him, but that was okay. You know, we always knew they have the fast guys in, and all we need to do is keep it clean and just get into the rhythm. We are under safety car. Safety car, Michael, safety car. What's best is with a long safety car, can it not happen? A safety car in at the end of this lap. Michael, safety car for the speed. At the end of this lap, yeah. we come through to the restart of this race. Safety car now back on pit lane. Green flags are flying, and away we go again, Johnny. Green flag. So to the outside, Michael Fassbender thought about it to uh, be on the inside at Eau Rouge, but that would be brave this early on in the race. We've had almost 20 minutes of a four-hour affair, so a question of kind of keeping the powder dry. Michael, be careful, T5, cars on the middle of the track. A lot of debris, so be careful, T5, throws the high. If we stop, full fuel, the tires are like stays in car. We are under safety car, we are under safety car. And we got the stuff, so everybody to the box. Everybody to the box, we put the tires on. We were lucky with full Borsello safety cars to uh, to reach his one and a half hour driving time. Michael, box, you said box, box. You stay in car, fuel and tires. A number of the teams are opting to make first stops. This is an opportunity now to take some fuel on. Stay in line, follow the pack. Eigentlich viel besser kann es nicht mehr laufen, ne? Wir hatten aber das gleiche in Le Castellet. Jetzt muss er halt nach Hause fahren. Safety car coming in at the end of this lap. The green flags are waving all around Spa Francorchamps, and we're racing once again. It looked really, really good. Michael did a proper stint. Safety cars helped us to close the gaps again, and it looked really promising. Oh, fehlerfrei, ja? So, fehlerfrei, aber jetzt kommt halt der mit Ferrari, und da muss er jetzt halt ruhig bleiben. Ich meine, jetzt sind es noch 10 Minuten, 5 Runden. Cars on the inside of the 93, that is Claudio Schiavone getting sixth position from Michael Fassbender, who spins as a result. Ah! So Fassbender.
and uh, we'll be trying to rejoin all. Yeah, uh, you're holding your breath yes. because we've already had a big uh, accident here with a car rejoining and one or two shoot through, thankfully avoiding the green 93 Porsche. So was that fast bender off the racing line having been overtaken? There was so much dirt offline there at the com where Diego Manchaca and Duncan Cameron got together. Oh yeah, time sometimes good, huh? Michael Box and driver change to Richie. Okay. really did push as hard as I could to try and drive, you know, a stint and a half with, without mistake. The spin at the end, we lost 25 seconds, but it happens. And he was just a little bit on the dirt and pop, it snaps. It's, it's, it's the wrong time, wrong place, and you cannot, uh, you cannot blame him. I really hope that this is not going to change the end result for us because that, you know, would be really, really hard for everyone again. Reach your fastest car on track, because the P5 before in front of you, and then Cooper is P3, 10 seconds ahead, but we're catching up. Is closing. At that point, I think we were in P5 or something. Richie had done a good job, really fighting with some of the guys. Oh, he's off the ground, oh, Richie, as well. Fast corner, he's torn a wheel off that at Campos. That was a big off and actually could have been a whole lot worse. Yes. Right, so everyone stand by. There's a car next to the track, so everybody will stand by. Full course yellow would be the best thing ever. 20 seconds to full course yellow. We see full course 50 seconds. Left we will slap, driver change to Felipe. Box, box, Jakob, tires, tires. The 38 fast, the 38 fast. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, full course yellow, full course yellow. If you feel that 25 seconds, 25. The way we approached the race strategically was actually the luckiest and best strategy that we've had in a long time. Everything seemed to fall into place for us in terms of where there was full course yellows, driver change, the fact that I got to do my full stint and a half in one go. We were on set, you know, we were strong for a podium. When Felipe got into the car, I was really hoping for him to have a good stint without traffic and without too many incidents on track. Felipe Ferrari from is the drone driver for position. Now the 83 car of Sarah Bovi has behind her Felipe Laza in the Proton Competition 93. Who is in the drone? The train? It's the drone driver, Sarah Bovi, drone driver. From Brussels, Sarah Bovi, and not actually taking part in a European Le Mans series race before today, but Bovi replacing Manuel Gosler in the 83 for this weekend. Hey, but she's fucking quick for a bronze driver, huh? Okay. Damn right, you saw that all weekend. Track limit D9, track limit D9, first goal.
Plaza is closing on Sarah Bovey. It's all back, back straight to a nose to tail contest. Felipe Laza still can't quite get close enough to Sarah Bovey to fashion this overtake. Thought about it at the top of the Camel Straight and into their con corner. But just needed another probably half car length, although Bovey's all up and, and might be to some degree a sitting duck this time down towards Bruce Oak. Second call. Try the outside this time. He's going to try and force the. Now it's going to be a drag racer. Oh. Not yet, not yet. No, no, yeah, no, 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 you have her now. I think the Porsche's got it done here, but she's on the inside line. If she's got the pace yes. and the start finish rate, she'll have to run. And I think she's managed to retain that position, Johnny. He did one track limit, two track limits, and we got the black and white flag. So we knew one more track limit, and we get a drive through penalty here. So that was not an option. It looks quite uh, okay for a podium position, but it's still one hour to go, so everything is possible. Uh, my front tires are really on the edge. Bobby, but you fight a long time, so the front tires suffered a lot, so just 10 laps to go. Due to the dirty air, I had not a lot of aero in the front, I was really struggling and destroyed my tires. <laughs> He's pushing so much an entry. The front tire right. cannot cannot do it. Guys, I would like to prefer to make the stop earlier because I'm struggling. Okay. I think we have to stop. His front tires are dead. And we're so close to a drive-through penalty. I mean, a drive would be the worst. Yeah, no, definitely don't want to drive through right now. Felipe rated in. There's no way I can keep up this pace with those tires. Copy, copy. One more lap, one more lap. You get ready. So Arno was telling him, one more lap, Felipe. Next lap, we'll pit you. Then Arno actually decided, okay, we'll do the same thing again and tell him, one more lap, Felipe, one more lap. You should one more lap, one more lap. But for some reason, Felipe didn't get that call. Oh shit, he's coming in. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, So the tires were coming into the garage. We managed to get the tires on time. We managed to do the pit stop perfectly, which was awesome because the team did a great job. Felipe went out again. Felipe, 22 laps to go, so take care of the tires, please. In she comes to hit the speed limiter, down to 60 kilometers per hour in the pit stop. I think this one is going to swing away with this car. Ahead of the Iron Links Ferrari. I felt like we were in a comfortable place to finish on the podium. But then, I mean, she was just like, you know, really pushing. We 
Le Bay 18 laps to go, currently P3, 5 seconds in front of P4. She drove precisely and she was always putting the pressure on us. Our hell is on fire. Yeah, yeah. She's at the bottom of Eau Rouge, she's at the top of Radio. 11 left to go, gap is still 3 seconds. Track limit P11, first goal. Felipe was always sort of maintaining the gap. She was coming closer and then Felipe gained some time again. 11 left to go, Felipe 11 left, gap is 3 seconds, take care of the tires. And this might help them out big time because if we go for course yellow, that might be exactly what they need. The yellow flag is out at turns one, two, three, and four. Prepare full course yellow at 1454. Repeat car Full course yellow. Course yellow in. There was something wrong with the um, with the radio. Ten seconds to full course yellow. There's a two. Three. Focus yellow, focus yellow, focus. What the fuck? What happened? I thought they said the radio wasn't working. But this is always getting loose. I don't know. Sorry, I think you said my radio, Felipe. All good, all good. But there was something wrong with my headset, so at a certain point, it looked like we had a lot of issues. Just at the moment, we. We don't want any issues because we were like fighting for the for the podium. She's only one second behind now. Oh what the? F uh, what do you think? Is the race over or still five and a half minutes? So still five and a half minutes. This is too fucked up. Full course yellow. We might, you know, end the race like this, because depending on how quickly that car can be cleared up. It's under five minutes on the clock. Guys, look at the front portion. What are they doing? They're way quicker. How can they catch us? During the full course yellow, I mean, we're all driving 80 kph. And she was gaining. Look, now it's half of it almost. Okay, well then she's definitely going faster than the 80. Guys, I'm driving 80 kph and she's coming closer. So everyone is circulating at 80 kilometers per hour, but we reckon... Uh, the gaps were closed. We seem to lose 0.4 of a second. I was surprised, and at the end she was really bumper to bumper. We are removing full course yellow at 14.58.15. So in 30 seconds back. Two. Doesn't work. Because sometimes just some pieces of, of sentences. 10 seconds to green. 10 seconds. To green. No. Okay. Abort. Abort, abort, still full At a certain point I just hit green, but there was no green. Yeah, but then you speak to him. Okay, easy guys, easy, easy, easy. But now, eh? Hey, what do guys. I do? Just speak Somebody to speak to him. 20 seconds to remove full course yellow. It was basically the countdown to going back to a green track. Try again, try again. 15 seconds to full course yellow. It's getting worse and worse and worse. We had lost radio communication at that point, which is obviously a very crucial point. Oh my god, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Doesn't work anymore. Oh my god. Rahel Fry getting the better getaway as we go back to green. And for whatever reason, Liza just didn't pick up the throttle as readily as Rahel Fry. Well, come on, guys! Ferrari overtook us without any problem. And then Felipe tried everything.
it occurs Felipe Laza, but it will be the 83 Iron Dames car of Rahel Fry that hangs on for a podium result ahead of Protov competition that finishes fourth from pole position. Felipe, check a sec, check a sec. lap of the four-hour race. It was just so close to, to a podium. For me it was a tough one and I felt sorry for Mike, I felt sorry for the team because we deserve it since quite a, quite a while because we are all doing a really good job. Don't be too pissed, huh? No, I'm completely pissed. No, but don't do it. It's like always, it's yeah. always something. It's always something. I know. So it's, it's fucking shit. If we would have done 100% this weekend, it would have been P3 for sure, maybe P2. And I think it hurts because I think we deserved the podium, but we never really got the perfect job done this weekend.